What's going on, y'all? You know who it is. Mr. Warmack, a.k.a. Low Rent, a.k.a. The Ignorant American, a.k.a. The Truth As You Know It, a.k.a. Dirty Business, a.k.a. The Jet Jaguar of YouTube. All right, folks. You know who this is. It's Mr. Warmack. I'm uh, definitely back in the building. And uh, this is going to be apparently going to be a follow-up video. Because I, in my video, and uh, some people saw in a couple groups I am, and uh, the question I was asked is, because they said, uh, they asked me about the video, and they asked me about the 4th of July. And I said, look, why would you stay in a place that you don't like? And I said, if this was me, I would do my damnedest to get out of the place where I hate so much. I said, I wouldn't, I wouldn't indulge in it. I wouldn't spend in it. I wouldn't. I wouldn't, you know, go along like everybody else does. I I try to get out, and then I start hearing the multitude of excuses as you always hear. Well, some people don't have the money. I'm like, that's not my problem. The problem is, is a lot of people spend their money on stupid shit. Let's let's keep it real. If you feel like a weave is important, you're gonna buy a weave. Now, the fact that you hate America. That doesn't that that that's secondary or third to your position in life. If you decide you want to buy a pair of Jordans, the fact that you hate America is secondary and it's third in the position. We're third in the position of how you feel about life. But if it was me, I would be saving money uh, through a four hundred one k or through a Roth IA or just through putting money under your mattress or going or even a bank account. And I would take the money I had when I got a certain amount when I felt like I've, you know, I had enough, I would move. People do this all the time. They move to other countries. One of the hottest countries people are moving to is Thailand right now. And there are black men moving to Brazil to find women. So this isn't something new. It's new to you because of your ignorance. Now, I, I did the video, and I, like, like I keep saying... The reason a lot of you won't move because you guys are comfortable. You're comfortable where you're living at. Let's let's face it. You got the freedom to bitch, piss, and moan about your situation without any repercussions. That's why a lot of you guys don't want to travel to some of these other countries. Like you know, if you go to the Middle East, you don't have to abide by their law. You damn sure won't go to Russia because Russia Russia even told you flat out we don't even need minorities. Minorities need us. We're not going to change laws to suit minorities. Like so, the only option you really have is Africa. Like I said, Ghana was giving you free land and still is. Mugabe, Zimbabwe, he was giving away free land to American, black American. There's other countries in Africa that were giving away free land, and I would think that you American haters would go there. But no, once once you confront them with the facts, they confront you with excuses. They're, they they seem like they're a bunch of doctors. They'll write you an excuse. Well, a lot of us don't have the money. Well, whose fault's that? That's not my fault. That's not my fault that you choose to live in Waller. That's not Waller. That's not my. That's my, not my fault that you choose not to do anything. Like I said, and the bad part about it, a lot of you guys that say you hate people say hate America, or men and women, are on the government dime. You're getting some type of assistance, and that is the ultimate slap in the face. Because how can you hate a country? But you'll take the money to so you can lay on your ass all day. So I'm just I'm just sick and tired of all these crybabies coming up to me talking about well you shouldn't celebrate the Fourth of July when I like I said in the previous video you guys weren't even celebrating Juneteenth. So why are you getting mad at other people because they celebrating the Fourth of July? See the problem with black people is. Like other minorities, and I'll make a video about this. Other or a podcast because I'm getting a little lazy in my old age. Uh, the problem with other with blacks, I don't like other minorities. When other minorities here, instead of whenever they came over here, they did like we did, but they gained political power also. Or they bought it for political power. The Asians, you go to certain. The, you, the Asians are all banded together. I mean, now you'll see a lot of younger Asians in certain black neighborhoods and other neighborhoods. But they're starting to leave the family structure. But if you go to Asians, they all banded together. They've got their little political block. The Hispanics are starting to get their political block. Black people, black people don't have a political block. We got the black, uh, what's it, the, the 
Black National Congress up in the Senate and the and the House of Representatives, and you saw the the amazing work they've done under the under the Obama administration. Good job. They're just a they're a joke. I mean, they need to be booted. What we the problem is, you need to get connect connected politically to gain some power. And a lot of people are going to say, oh, I ain't playing the white man's politics. Well, the way you've been playing it hasn't worked. When you're in, when you're under a system where you're not in control, you either, you have to go abide by that system and use it to your advantage. Because the system you guys want to go by is not going to work. A lot of you guys, a lot. Of, I'm, I'm comparing what a lot of you guys do to say uh, say somebody um say you got your comedy. You, I'm going to compare you guys to Red, like, not the Red Fox. Uh, how about Eddie Murphy? Eddie Murphy's out here doing something, and you guys are the Chitlin circuit. And you'll never get off the Chitlin circuit. That's how you guys are. Because you don't think big, you think small. And, and in a way, you deserve to be where you're at, so I can't feel sorry for you. You want to sit there and cry and whine about, oh, I hate America. You know, America's done us so wrong. They want to say, well, Ghana... Zimbabwe, I'm not sure. I'm not sure about Zaire or the, or Cong the Congo as it's called now. Uh, a few others that were giving away land. I'm like, why don't you take take them up on their offer? Airports aren't crowded with people leaving, as you can see. There's no mass exodus, you know, to Joburg. So I'm just. I had to make this video because people were bitching and moaning, but at the same time, I'm presenting you with facts. You can get emotional all you want. If you ain't presenting me with facts, you can't even come close. So, keep crying and whining. Maybe one day you guys will save up enough shekels and get the way to get out of here. But then again, I doubt it. All right, peace.